In these problems, we're being asked to estimate an answer. And this is tricky because if you just pull out your calculator and do this, 2,506 divided by 51, you're probably going to get the wrong answer. Uh, you're probably going to choose an answer choice that, that's not right. Um, even though if you were going to do this accurately, instead of estimating, you would be right. When we estimate an answer, what we do is we round these numbers to numbers that are convenient to work with, and then we sort of do the division in our head. In this case, 2,506 divided by 51, I would round this down to 2,500 and this down to 50. And now if you're going to do 2,500 divided by 50, you're going to get 50. If you think about 5 times 5 is 25, so 50 times 50 would be 25 with two extra zeros on it. So the answer for this one, the estimate, would be 50. If you did it on your calculator, you're going to get something slightly different. Let's try another one of these. We have 6,267 6, divided by 93. In this case, I'm going to round up. I've got 67 here, so I'm going to round up to 6,300. And this 93, I'm going to round that down to 90. What you'll notice is that you're rounding towards numbers that you should recognize. These are, there are multiples here. So, you know, 9 times 7 is 63. We've got a 63 here. We've got a 9 here. So 90 times 70 would be 6,300. 6,300 divided by 90 would be 70. That's not the right answer for 6,267 divided by 93, but it's the right answer when we're just estimating. All right, one more, and this one's got fractions. What we want to do with these fractions is that we want to round to the nearest integer and then do the, the, the math. It says estimate the product, so we're going to be multiplying. Product is times. 7 and 7 eighths. Well, 7 eighths is almost all the way to another 1. So 7 and 7 eighths is almost 8. So I'm going to say that's 8. And 1 and 8 ninths, that's very close to 2. 8 ninths is, is close to 1, so 1 and 1 would be 2. So we're multiplying 8 and 2. Well, that's easy. That's 16. And that is the answer you would give if you're estimating the product of 7 and 7 eighths and 1 and 8 ninths.